In the scenic yet serene Shenandoah Valley, a storm of scandal not nature is brewing. Ensnaring Augusta County in a narrative more akin to a political thriller than rural law enforcement dispatches, central to this maelstrom is Sheriff Donald Smith. Besieged by allegations from mishandling crucial evidence to fraternizing with a convicted human trafficker, Felix Chujoy. Breaking Through News unveils a new chapter in this saga, spotlighting Redemption LLC, a mysterious entity with alleged deep ties to the embattled sheriff. Redemption LLC is owned by Felix Chujoy, according to records from the State Corporation Commission. In Augusta County, Sheriff Donald Smith has become a synonym for controversy. Our investigation revisits his unsettling alliance with Chujoy. Federal prosecutors openly questioned why Sheriff Smith was protecting a convicted human trafficking suspect instead of helping his fellow law enforcement. But the relationship didn't start there. Chujoy's puzzling case dismissal after being arrested in 2013 for state charges related to child sex solicitation in the city of Staunton demands clarity with many questions lingering. A shocking video of Deputy Andrew Simonetti's use of force last month, filmed by Bobby Kleindienst, sent ripples through the county. Of course, one would think the Sheriff's Office would appreciate the video, but not so much. Turns out, Kleindienst worked for, you guessed it, Redemption LLC. In response, we see an alleged retaliatory campaign by the Sheriff's Office against Kleindienst and his significant other, Felicia Knights, Kleindienst and Knight's plight, a narrative of desperation and alleged misuse of power, has prompted the question, to what lengths will the sheriff go to keep his secrets? Redemption LLC, a company owned by Chujoy, stands at the crossroads of power, business and county law enforcement. Disturbing revelations suggest the sheriff's truck, mired in its own controversies after the arrest of the sheriff's brother on attempted murder charges, was utilized for Chujoy's business operations. Specifically, it was used for deliveries. But deliveries of what? Breaking through news reached out to the sheriff and Felix Chujoy for comment on why several witnesses have said the sheriff's truck has been used for Redemption LLC deliveries. Neither chose to respond. This is, of course, not the first time the sheriff has been in hot water for permitting Felix Chujoy to use his car. According to federal court records, the sheriff loaned Chujoy his car and a phone after he was released from jail in 2012 related to child sex solicitation charges. According to the feds, they were later used in a crime, Chujoy's efforts to intimidate witnesses against him. And it turns out Chujoy has been busy, and it appears the redemption business is profitable. Breaking Through News was able to geolocate several international travel destinations for Chujoy, including Argentina, El Salvador, the Korean DMZ, and Brazil. Chujoy's international travels, purportedly approved verbally despite his probation, raise grave concerns about the oversight of judicial stipulations, hinting at a system distorted by personal ties and power dynamics. Breaking Through News took a deep dive into our reporter's correspondence with the Virginia Department of Corrections. We learned that Felix Chujoy, who is on probation and supervised in Harrisonburg, had not received permission to leave the Commonwealth of Virginia, though he has traveled internationally several times. Initially, a dismissive tone from the agency shielded Chujoy, but when confronted with geolocated images of Chujoy overseas, the narrative shifted. This evidence prompted a sudden referral for investigation. Turns out the policy of probation and parole does not permit verbal approval for international travel. This shift raises critical questions about the system's readiness to address uncomfortable truths, especially when they involve influential figures. One thing is certain. Presumably the Department of Corrections follows their own policies, which means no person on probation in Virginia is receiving the same privileges as Felix Chujoy, the question breaking through couldn't get the Department of Corrections to answer is why. Our investigation has connected the dots between Sheriff Smith, Chujoy and Redemption LLC, revealing a disturbing pattern of behavior. The narrative that unfolds is one of unchecked power and relationships corrupting judicial and law enforcement processes. Unfortunately, this investigation raises more questions than answers and the answers provided are unsettling at best. As Augusta's community confronts these revelations, the demand for transparency, accountability and justice grows stronger. 
The implications of our findings reach beyond the individuals involved, touching the very trust between the community and its protectors. In light of these unsettling revelations, Augusta County's citizens seek answers and actions to restore integrity and uphold the law untainted by personal alliances or power plays. The investigation into Sheriff Donald Smith and his associates continues to unravel more questions than it answers, casting a long shadow over Augusta County's law enforcement landscape. As we delve deeper into this complex narrative, our commitment to journalistic integrity and dedication to the community stands firm. Breaking Through's investigation in All Roads Lead to Redemption, LLC, is far from concluded, and we remain resolute in our pursuit of truth, ensuring that light overcomes the shadows, ushering in clarity, justice and reform to our valley. Stay tuned to Breaking Through News for the latest developments in this ongoing story. Remember to subscribe on the Newsbreak app or on our website at breakingthrough.com.